We are here today. We hope you guys are happy to join us. We are actually going to start by building a community wooden railway all over the floor of our studio here. And Liam is just getting ready, guys. He's going to join us in a second. He's just finishing up. And my first question is, is what track pieces do we want to use today? Okay, I'm not seeing any live chat. There we go. So guys, get in the comment sections if you can and let us know what pieces you want. Hello, Tim the Thomas fan. Hi, KTB. Hi, Edward. Gaming with Yonel. Yonel. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning. How are you today? We're going to get started, guys. Do you have any track pieces that you think you want? We've got so many track pieces. And I think Liam's going to come up and we're going to help do a community track build. So guys, get in the comment sections if there's any wooden railway pieces you guys want to see. Snow Mountain. You know, the one piece we don't have upstairs, we actually keep that downstairs when it's off season. So it's in storage, unfortunately. Most of our Christmas stuff is. The Echo Voice Tunnel. Hmm, I think I know where that might be. Let's see if I can't find that tunnel. We got so many wooden railway pieces. I have the Echo Voice Tunnel. I know that we have two of them. We have the road construction one. And we have the other one. This is all our Sodor search and rescue stuff. Where, where am I going to find that tunnel now? Hmm. I don't see it in here. Let's come around. Okay, so we have the roadway one. This is the construction tunnel. Vickerstown. Yeah, we're going to get on Vickerstown. I'm going to find that Echo Voice Tunnel, though, real quick. Vickerstown. I think that we have Vickerstown right here. This is a good... Oh, look at that. I have one of our magnets. One of our little magnets that we use to pull the trains along the track. Here's Vickerstown. We'll get that set down right away. Liam will come up here once Liam's ready, and we will. he'll help uh, decide where we're going to build Vickerstown. I think he usually likes those places as the center of the track build. I got to find that. I don't even know where I keep that echo tunnel. It's been so long since we used that piece. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think it's in there. Do you guys see any other pieces that you guys like or you guys want us to use? Let us know. Trackmaster as well. I don't think that we have a lot of our Trackmaster stuff ready. Maybe if we can convince Liam to bring out the train labs, we can uh, do a track conversion over to Trackmaster. Man, I'm going to be pulling all my pieces out. I'm going to, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to pull every single piece out before I find that aqua tunnel. I know that. Coal Depot? Like this one? Bubble. <laughs> the bubble loader. That is the infamously most disliked piece. I think we did a poll once on which piece was the most disliked Thomas Wooden Railway piece. And bubble loader was the answer from like, like really far away. Uh, but if I dig down deep in here, oh, oh, this is the echo tunnel. We'll get Liam to put something in there and we'll get that put down here as well. Once Liam is ready, we'll get him up here and he can start building track. In the meantime, in the between time, let's figure something out here. Um, I've got all these pieces right here. I saw Bell Tower. Yeah, Bell Tower, Diesel Works. Diesel Works is a big thing. Sam in the Bell Tower. Okay, I'm getting a couple compliments for Sam in the Bell Tower. Parents, if you're wondering what we do for storage, this is most of our wooden railway pieces and tracks are in there. We have it up top there. We have them over here. We have them all the way down there as well. We keep a lot of our Trackmaster and Duplo in here. And our trains are all over the place. Not to mention, like, we have specific sorry, specific pieces, like all our bridges are in this, uh, are in our Thomas Mystery Surprise Box. We keep our Lego trains in here. And this is just maybe half of our collection. We have so much more. We have another one of these big storage units in the basement as well. That's mostly just Trackmaster and Tomy. And Steamworks as well. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do about Steamworks and Diesel Works. Let's get the bell tower out. 
Oh, we got so many old pieces here too, guys. We're really looking forward to doing a community track build. So, Bell Tower from Sam and the Great Bell. This was a premium piece that was only available on the Fisher Price website. It's no longer available, I believe. I forget what we called that. What, what did they call that? Because there was like three or four premium sets. They all had gold tracks. Like all the tracks were little, had little gold connectors like this. I forget even the name of the, of the thing that went down. As opposed to the other ones, which are just brown. These ones were gold. Does anybody remember what they were called? These premium sets that we could get only from the website? They had Sam and the Great Bell. They had Logan and the Big Blue Engines. They had James Sorts It Out. And they had a Dustin set as well. Story Collection. Yeah, maybe the Sodor Story Collection. I think maybe that's what it was. I think you're right. That was a lot of... Those were really great sets. They were a little bit expensive as well. But you had interesting sets like that. We need the bell. Oh, let's see if we can't... We'll put the paint set back in here right now. Bear with me, guys. And we're going to try and find the bell. I'm working one-handed here because I'm holding the camera. So let's see if we can't get this down. And I usually keep the bell in here. Oh. Sorry, guys. Just holding on. My camera's kind of acting up. And now we want to go vertical. Hold on, guys. We're just having a bit of problems. What do you think, pal? Uh, I just have to tell you something, Eddie. Where are you telling me? Sam and the Great Bell was actually the only set with gold tracks. It was the only set with gold tracks? Mm -hmm. What about the Dustin set? Uh, no. No, the Dustin set didn't have it? What about the Logan set? Um, no. No. Are you going to say hi to all our friends? Hi. And welcome back to... So we are doing this, and these are the sets that so far that we want on our community track build. They want Vickerstown. They want the Echo Tunnel, but you're going to have to say something in the Echo. The Coal Station. This is from. This is actually from the Logan and the Big Blue Engine set, isn't it? Yeah. And then the Great Bell. So I have to find the bell. Why don't you get start building? Do I know something? I want to know everything. The last um, my set with gold tracks. Um, the one before this one yes. was actually from 2001. Oh, really? Yeah. You know a lot of things. It was... Um, There's the Great Bell right it there. It was Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Was it Thomas and the Magic Railroad? Was, mm -hmm. was there an actual set that had gold tracks? Yeah. Oh, we got it. And then we raised the Great Bell. Well, Whoop. it was more yellow. It wasn't very shiny, but it was still gold. Okay, we're getting a lot of Tim Sheds. We'll get to Tim Sheds in a second, guys, as well. Liam, yeah. why don't you grab out the uh, the risers? Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll grab the the risers for the Sam and the Great set, Bell set. Okay. okay, we'll take a look. I think that they'd be in here because there's sp specific sets for Sam and the Great Bell, and I'll get these out. Oh, and the Great Bell fell. Oh no! The, the fall of the Great Bell. The Great Bell fell, fella. Okay, now, let me see. That's not it. Is this it? There. Okay, so that's one riser right there because he had the great bell. And I think I keep these together. You can see the gold tracks right on top of that. There's the other one for the Sodor Museum at Sam and the Great Bell. We'll get some of this put back. I'm going to get in here and we're going to take a look. I can't find what side it's on here. Yeah, you found what side it's on? Okay. Okay. Now, we get a lot of requests for Tidmiss Sheds. So we have the old roundhouse, which was original. I actually took the doors off, but I did that safely. The doors are in a safe place. We have deluxe Tidmiss Sheds with uh, lights and sounds. That's an old piece. And we have this Tidmiss Sheds, which I think is my favorite. So do we want, do you want roundhouse? You guys get in the comment sections, do we want roundhouse? Do you want red or deluxe? 
or do you want green? Old roundhouse I'm seeing. Green. Hello, it's from Sweden. Hello. Deluxe, green, 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 green. Old roundhouse. Green, green, deluxe, green. Maybe we'll make it deluxe green. Are you going to get building? What are you doing? So did our construction crew here, folks. He's already taking a break. <laughs> Blue? Really? Blue? <laughs> Shout out to all our colorblind friends from all over the world. And I think we just got six more votes for, for green. I don't know what it is. You know, the red one was a little bit more expensive, the deluxe roundhouse. And it's got the sounds and it's got all the bells and whistles on it. Yeah, we got, we got this used and we weren't able to fix the sounds. It's kind of hard to come by the deluxe set, but I think everyone likes the green one. And the Thomas, the new Thomas Wood one, um, we, it, ha it's a, it has a wall at the back. Yeah. Imagine if they had a feature where, um, the wall, where one of the walls could actually break so you could role play with James. Oh yeah, so yeah, you could have James come down from, um, what is it, Fastest Red Engine? I remember that. Okay, and so we have the two different colors, and that is the turntable. I think that we have uh, one. These things always break, these pieces. Look at all those pieces in there. Oh, wait, that's that's for the deluxe set. Okay. Liam, are you uh, building away? Okay, get a good look at all our Thomas Wood pieces here or Thomas Wooden Railway I should say okay so what do you have going on uh, you got salmon you got salmon the great bell and we've got Vickerstown we can replace Vickerstown anywhere I just kind of put it down there well I'm just building Tidmouth right now son uh, kids stories play I have something to ask do the mainland <laughs> I don't think we have any mainland pieces. We tried jumping that bridge. What, is it, what game is that? Is that Take on Sodor where we ended up... Can we keep yeah. jumping the bridge to the mainland? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've used Ashima to jump it. Yeah, and Ashima did it. Then and Streamline Thomas, didn't we? Thomas did it, except there wasn't another Thomas in the way. That's right. And I think Ashima actually did it better, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She I, th I wonder if they designed that. I think, I haven't played that game in a while, but I, often, I wonder if they designed that because Ashima actually belongs on the mainland. Or she's from far away. She's from India in truth, but... All right, you have to get building, my friend. Okay. No time for sitting down. You got some track to build. There were, there were only two places Ashima ever slept in. India and Sodor. What about the Great Railway Show? She just, you, nobody sleeps at the Great Railway Show? Yeah. She went to Sodor after the Great Railway Show, and she slept, and then she woke up and went to engine. The Great Railway Show, I'm sure, has enough, has enough uh, space for all the engines. Let's get building, yeah, please. So, do you want to get uh, Tim Machettes and put it someplace, or do you want to get the Salmon the Great Bell and put it someplace, or where's Vickerstown? Vickerstown is not on the couch. Okay. Wait, it actually is on the couch. Okay. Let's get building. I don't know. Let's put Vickerstown at one end or the other. I know. And then uh, Vickerstown Bridge is going to be under construction. Okay, Vickerstown Bri Bridge is going to be under construction. You want to put a Vickerstown Bridge in there? Uh, no, I'm just going to put a... Hey, you know what? Do you want to use... Uh, I have an idea. Do you want to use the small green Vickerstown Bridge? I'm not even sure where it is. I think this is it right here. Do you want to use this as Vickerstown Bridge? Or do you want to use that big Doug and Melissa's piece we got? I don't got? even how about we put this on the end anyways and just see if they can jump down the stairs okay, okay. all right we'll get that there and what kind of pieces do you need we'll get some straight tracks over here 
Parents, if you're watching at home or kids with a large track, if you organize, this is going to be heavy because I'm only having one handed. If you organize all your tracks by pieces, it just makes things easier. That's a lot of wood. You can start a big fire with that one. Tim's station, okay. All right, now where? Now we have two different Tim's stations as well, don't we? We have the old school one and we have Tidmouth Halt. Yeah, I think so. Hmm, I gotta see if I, I'm trying to spot it in here. I don't know. I used to have all the stations together. Like we used to have Wellsworth and it would be close with the rest of the stations. There's the Dynamite Factory. There's Alfstead. Uh, Wellsworth Water Tower. Maybe we'll just put that with Wellsworth Station over here just to keep it all together. We have Alfstead and we have all the castle pieces as well. Was that? That was officially Alfstead Castle, wasn't it? Was. This piece that they released. They re officially called that Alfstead Castle, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. I always call it Alfstead Castle because it just makes sense. It came with Stephen. Now, let's take a look in here. I don't see any stops or stations. Oh, here's Tedmouth Halt. So, knowing Dad, I would have put it in here as well. We'll take out the transfer yard, a big piece. There's Tidmouth Halt. Oh, there it is. There's Tidmouth Halt. So that's a good place to get your luggage. And then what have I kept Tidmouth Station in here as well? Looking down, it looks like I have... See, there's Suttery. I think this is where I keep McCall's farm. There's Rolf's castle. I think I have most of McCall's farm in there. Are you still building, pal? Yeah, I'm looking for the other Vickerstown bridge ramp. The one with the gate. The one with the gate? Yeah. The gate. And it, the engines go down and then they jump the bridge. Oh, from the Great Race set? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? Is it... That's a, that was a really cool little design they had. Do you want the grass piece too? Uh, no. They're just going to be jumping over the stairs. Okay, did you look over here? You look on the ground level when we're looking for things. You look on ground level and I'll look up top. Okay. We've already got a big mess happening. Oh, I found it already. So Leah meant this piece. This uh, is actually... No, I did not. What? You didn't mean this piece? Yeah, I didn't mean this piece. What gate then? The big red one, that's three of these tall. The big red one. Oh, that piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Dad put that someplace special because it was kind of out of the way. You meant this piece. Yeah. So that's the roller coaster piece. Oh, that's, what that's, what we, that's what we used to call it, the roller coaster piece. Okay, we are still looking. Where are we looking for? Timmouth Halt? Or Timmouth uh, Station, I think. Uh, I think I was over here, actually. Because we have two of the old style stations, and one of them is Tidmouth. And we have the Brendan Barrel Company. Look at all these old pieces we got. Uh, okay, here's this Rio Bridge. Hmm, where did I keep that piece? We're going to be, we're going to have like a big mess already. Clock Tower. Okay, so you've got this going on so far, so show us what you got. Okay. It's gonna go up. Norman is Storman. And then. Oof. What could go wrong? Fantastic. Okay, so we got that. I am fill up. I need to fill up. Yeah, I need. At the mainland. <laughs> fill up. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get in better position here. We'll turn on the light. Okay, so let's do this, but don't push. Just let go. I think if you actually use the gate, if you're gatekeeping on there, if you use the actual gate, it works a lot better. All right, now the question is, is have I actually given up on looking for Tim's station? Keep building, it's not time to be playing. <laughs> this is the problem with our track builds is that it's like, hey, let's build something and we end up playing with it. And before it's completed, Okay, let's get into here now. Cosby Cole, I'm seeing the paint place. You know, I don't know. Where do we keep? I need a Cosby Cole hopper. 
You need a Crosby Coal Hopper? Yeah. Okay. Sure, Hot Wheels collection. You know what? To be quite honest, we actually gave away our, most of our Hot Wheels collection. Yeah. We... You Five quarters, hey? Four fifths. So we got of that Crosby Coal Hopper. That's the one you wanted? We gave yeah. away four fifths of that. Four fifths. We actually ended up giving away most of our Hot Wheels. We had a friend who actually loves Hot Wheels so much. And we have, we, we've been really blessed. We have a lot uh, of toys. So we decided to part with those ones. Oh, what's in here? Is this just all our bridges? Or do we have, I think that, you know what? I can't find that station right now. Use the Sir Topham hat piece. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try and find the Sir Topham hat piece. I think I just had it. Why don't you keep building, please? Okay, I'm going to build a coal yard. Okay, you build the coal yard, but keep it away from Vickerstown. I know I just had that Sir Topham hat piece. Come sing along with Sir Topham hat song. <laughs> yeah, Sir Topham Hat does not like Dad singing. In fact, we don't even call it singing, to be quite honest. Toby's windmill. We got a lot of pieces already. So are you going to... Let's get building right at Tidmouth for now, okay? So let's build... Are you going to build out um, into the coal yard, or what do you want to do? This is mostly McCall's farm in here. That's where we keep a lot of it. We've got subway station. Oh, that's right. Okay, so Tidmouth Hall. I got to find the track piece that this is that this goes with as well. Because that's another difficult... Wow, I was going to say that's difficult to find, but I think that I just found it. Nope, that's not it, actually. Let's take a look inside Rolf's Castle. Rolf's Castle, what is that from? You know, I don't even remember what episode. That was like a one-off episode that they had Rolf's Castle in. It was, it was one of the old ones. I was actually online the other day discussing which seasons were the best. Everybody was saying seasons one to seven. Oh, um, I think it's where Toby went exploring and then he thought there was a ghost, but it was just Bertram. Bertram, Bertram the old warrior. And he was like in a pile of scrap, scrap himself. Bad day at Castle Lock. Yeah, maybe that was it. I forget. It was, it, there's been so many episodes. Keep building though. Get building out. And what else do we want to put in there? Do you want a water tower? What do you want? I don't know. Here, you know what? Let's just open these up where our big turns and our short turns are. Oh no. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Let's get that back together. And what else do we want? Napford Station. We're going to get to Napford Station, guys. That's probably one of the most iconic parts of all of Sodor. We'll have to get you to come help build. And let's take a look. Here's where all of our crazy cuckoo tracks are. We've got the Sodor Ironworks in that. Here's another. I like this one from Logan and the Big Blue Engines. That's another great piece. We had a lot of fun with that one. I saw Toby's windmill in here somewhere. William, can you build, please? That's okay. Show me a rare item. Me too. Okay, what's your rare item do you guys want to see? Put another shed near Vickerstown. That kind of makes sense too. Do you want to, do you get okay to make, lift that? Okay, sorry. Lynn just lifting heavy things. Sort of signal house. Water tower. Yeah, guys, if there's a certain piece you want to see, just let us know. How about the bubble? <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll throw the bubble loader in there. Yeah, Napford. Ugh. Let's get this going, guys. Napford Station, we kind of store it like this. There was a few different Alfred stations that they made. They made one that was definitely, um, that goes with water tower, I know that. Is that Dang. yellow one? So are you building track? Uh, yeah, right now. Hmm. Okay, they built a different, few different Nafford stations. They had the one, we have the one with a talking microphone. 
but the microphone doesn't work. Uh, was it MC Bun? I forget. that they, they had a talking microphone on it. It was bigger than this, and it was extend, extended out to the sides. And that was a great piece. The other piece that they had, uh, the, you know, the Thomas Wood one, I didn't like it. Yeah, Thomas Wood, guys, I don't, uh, like it. yeah, we, th Thomas Wood is okay. I'm not, I'm not going to insult Thomas Wood, but when we grew up on Thomas Wood and Railway. I like bacon. Yes, you like bacon. Okay, so let's get, you're just going to put switchers everywhere, aren't you? Well, it's going to be a shunting slash coal mill fill yard. It's going to be a, a, a shunting slash coal fill yard. Yeah. This is going to be a problem. Guys, I don't know if Trackmaster is going to be in the books. We got like all of our wooden railway out. Like this is our room so far. Yeah. We're going to get it built together. Is this where we're going to put Tim's sheds? Yeah. Okay, so let's keep building. Let's get it going. I think let's get a couple straights out there to begin with. I always end up going with the long straights. And from here, we can actually curve around behind if we wanted to. Laying down some track. Okay, let's put some track down there. I like these little circles that they had in there for the signals, but I don't think it ever came with enough signals. Like, I don't think that these roundabouts, because we could have bought them separately, I don't think they came with enough signal pieces. But they, there are signals that we have. I think we only have two of them. Julius, hi. Hi, Julius. Oh, we already have a big mess. My goodness. Dad's anxiety. Okay. What else do you guys want? I saw Toby's windmill. Somebody said Toby's windmill. Now I'm on a track to find Toby's windmill. And I've got that Sir Top Hat song in my head. Toby's windmill. Okay. Toby's windmill was actually another great episode. I, very iconic. So good that they actually made toys for it. What are you building now? I'm looking for a buffer. I'm looking what, for what's with you and buffers? You love buffers. It's like, I'm, this is my son. Guys, get in the comments and let me know. Let me know if this sounds like how you build. Let's put in a bunch of switchers. Like, so we have a bunch of switchers and then just add buffers to it. Uh, yeah, you always, you love, I have to talk him out of buffers all the time. I don't know why. Is it just because you like crashing into buffers so much? Uh, no. I'm trying to make a place for storage for coal cars. Coal cars? Yeah. It's cool. While we're here, guys, we also have... This is all our rolling stock over here. We've got a ton of our engines over here. This is our motorized wooden railway, our air vehicles, and we've got all our road vehicles. The Thomas Wood we use, the narrow gauge... Yeah, I run out of track very often. You know, we used to have that problem when we first started out. We would actually, had, we had a normal size play table. We inherited a normal size play table. We inherited a bunch of Thomas and uh, Thomas Wooden Railway from Liam's cousins who were done playing with it when Liam was just a little guy. That's how our collection started. And now it's like maybe the biggest in the world. Yeah, now we have, I, well, I definitely say we have one of the largest Thomas Wooden Railway collections in the world. And that's going without all our track master and all our other stuff. Thomas really has become this big part of our life. And we're so grateful. We got to get building. You know, this is sort of construction, guys. I'm saying get building. And where, where are their hands? In their pockets. Let's build track, my friend. Eh? I only have one. Oh, I just realized I have pockets. I just realized I have pockets. <laughs> Typical construction, guys. Yeah, we make a road near Napper. Maybe we can if we ever get construction going. But we have all of our pieces of well. If you guys want to ask any questions about any of our wooden railway pieces, I can bring out some of our pieces as well. Our largest freight train. You know what we noticed about our large freight trains is Liam, when he started building, he used to love making trains as like the longest things ever. And I remember he was like maybe two or three years old. Two, yeah. We were two when we got the collection. We started playing together. And I think he was three when we started the channel. Yeah, I was three. 
you were three years old and used to build the longest, like he would get all the trains and he'd get like all the cars that he could on there. And he'd go for maybe three or four inches before all the cars fell over off on the side. And he'd look at me and be like, daddy, pick them up. <laughs> so I'd pick them up and watch, put the, put the train back on track. And he, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't shorten the train. So if there are any questions about any of our Thomas trains or anything like that, let me know. I remember, Smudger. I remember videotaping our second video. I don't even remember that. That's because you were at work. Hey, Gregory from Central Alberta. Hello, Central Alberta. I actually know where that is. So let's go take a quick look at Smudger. Smudger was... he. We found a collection, so an individual. Wow, Smudger hasn't been used in a while. Smudger, we actually, so with this Smudger, we actually have some marker on his face. We bought him used. And I'm amazed at how popular Smudger is because, like, let's be honest, he's a generator. He was only appeared in one episode, and I think he was on track for a little bit, but he was like, he was like this rebel guy who didn't listen to Duke. And he caused confusion and delay. Old James? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grand Puff. Yeah, that was it, Grand Puff. Settle down, Grand Puff. And so he didn't listen, so he got turned into a generator. So guys, this is an important lesson. Learn from Smudger. Always listen to your parents. Especially when they're telling you to eat your vegetables and pick up your train tracks. Right, Liam? Liam agrees wholeheartedly. Uh, no, half. No, three quarters. Three quarters. Okay, let's see. Are you doing any... And your hands are back in your pockets. Get building their buffers. Brendam Docks. I love Brendam Docks. Brendam Docks was one of our first pieces that we got together as well. We got, uh, I remember we got that. That was dad's, that was when dad actually started to think that maybe we should spend all our money on Thomas Wooden Railway pieces is when Brendam Docks first came out. We got him and Cranky for Christmas. What's that, sorry? And then I... Santa got me Brendan Ducks for Christmas. Yeah, Santa brought that. That's right. Santa brought you Brendan Ducks. And he also brought me Cranky. I have no idea why those came into separate boxes. Well, you know, Cranky is an iconic character. And to be honest, paying... Like, Brendan Ducks is a big, elaborate set. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the better sets, in my opinion, as well. Did it come with any I think it came with Thomas. And I think it came with salty. Oh, no, it didn't come with salty. Came with, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I would have had Brenham Docks. I think Brenham Docks came out before salty was popular, to be honest with you. Salty, one of the best diesels. I didn't even have Porter yet. Well, Porter, he, he's just a camel. Like, let's be honest. He's a great camel, but I mean. So, so is Rosie. Build, build, build track. Everyone's a camel. Everyone's a camel. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, uh, we were doing Brenham Docks. I was going to do Brenham Docks and you were going to build. Oh, rang the bell. Oh, I dropped the bell. Oh, no, I dropped the bell. Oh, um, uh, Let's raise the bell again. Okay, let's keep building. I got to find... These are all our risers and stuff. I have to find the Thomas... Oh, okay, I see the Brenham Docks pieces in there. Brenham Docks is, honestly, it's one of the best sets in ever, in my opinion. I really like it. Um, I love using it. I'm glad that we have... I'm glad that we have a table that we actually built, our water table, that fits it perfectly, that I can make it part of a bigger set. And let's take a look in here. What else... Oh, where's the rest? Okay. I see this piece. Okay, and you're getting the coal ready? Okay. I have so many risers. Look at all these old risers we have. There's another piece right there. Okay, and we have these pieces here. Lots of little pieces for Brenham Docks as well. 
I'm just gonna clean this up real quick, and then we'll get Brendan Docks going. Are you okay? Okay, yeah, you're spending a lot of time with the uh, rolling stock there, Mr. Cole Hopper. Parents feel my pain about cleaning all this up all the time. Yes, guys, I know you have it bad, but I also it's know a thing or two about cleaning up wooden railway tracks all over the place. It's okay. I have to clean it all the time so the girls can have a movie night or also know how to play Yes. Well, we make Liam clean it up now, but that's okay. All part of growing up, I suppose. Brandon Docks is on his way. And let's get this piece right here. Let's see how quick dad can put together Brendan Docks. Okay. So do you want Brendan Docks together? Do you want it with uh, Brendan Barrel Company as well? Because we have that other piece that, I think that was a talking piece. Do you remember that, uh, the talking Brendan Docks that we had with the uh, engine recognition? Oh, uh, no, no, no. You don't want that piece? Okay, I think I actually left it out on the table there. Brandom Docks, one of the best pieces in Dad's opinion. Oh, you mean the Brandom Barrel Company? That Brandom Barrel Company, yeah. Oh. Okay, so we pop that up like that, and that is Brandom, and then we can put this on like this, and there's Brandom Docks. Where do you want to put Brandom Docks? You know, I'm seeing a lot of numbers come up. Do you know that Emily got, because this is a big deal for you. Emily is now number 12 officially. Yep. So they, she had, they put the number 12 officially on her tender. Permanently. Which, permanently, yeah. Permanent, she is, permanent stickers. She's now the official number 12 engine. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't do anything with narrow gauge lately, which kind of confuses me as well. You know how many requests we get for narrow gauge stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, kids still love narrow gauge engines, and they really did nothing with them. That's one thing that I'm not happy about is that they should have done more narrow gauge. Like we, we get requests for smudger and do narrow gauge. I just want them to bring back wooden railway. That's all. Yeah, I know and, you do. And cancel season 25. What's the most rare thing we got? We actually have our rare pieces. We have a special box downstairs of all our rare pieces. Liam, what do you think the most rare piece we have is? Smudger? Yeah. No, we have way more rare pieces than that. Uh, we actually have, we have three different Flying Scotsmans, including one, I think, from 99, one of the original 1999 ones. Um, we have Brio Thomas, we have Brio Gordon, we have Brio James, we have Brio Annie. We have, we have a ton of, we have like Brio Sir Handel. I'm looking for, Totally Thomastown actually gifted us a old troublesome truck. It's not white face troublesome truck. I, I have it. Oh, you have it? Okay, yeah. So we have a few of these old troublesome trucks, the old style troublesome trucks. I think the most rare piece we have, to be quite honest, is we have Annie and Clarabelle prototypes, the ones with the staples in the bottom. There's no names. They just have the staples. We don't have them up here. Um, but that, that's one of the more rare pieces we have. I think, I think that's what it is. We have, you know, other rare types that we have. We have the My Custom Engine. Yeah, so we have ours. Yeah, this is yeah, this is William. William got this for his fourth birthday. The engine is actually named William. Our friends actually over on um back then my favorite color was red. Yeah, your favorite color was red, so we got you that. But now it's orange and blue. How about you build there, blue boy? Neon orange. Okay, what do you have? Is that Daisy or Boko? Boko. Okay, we have Boko, we have oh Sorry, the camera's getting a little bit wonky. We have Boko, we have Fred, we've got Scruffy, we've got Troublesome Truck. This is a lot of trouble. Uh, don't worry, we gave them um, um, uh, I don't know, the opposite of candy. The opposite of candy, that would be cool. How about you start building some track? Okay. Keep them hands out them pockets. Um. Where was I? Rare pieces. Yeah, you know what? Our friends over on Show and Tell Toys, actually, they contacted us because they found a rare, it was a really rare prototype. I think it was like a green diesel that they never manufactured. 
they, they manufactured the prototype for the, uh, the, the, the personal engines. What do they call those personal engines? You could get them personalized. We have one. Our William engine is one. But anyways, you could get an engine do named after. No, they don't make anything wooden railway anymore. It's, it's too bad. We could have got one for Josie. Barbara. Yeah, we could have. I forget what they call them, though. But those engines that you could have bought. And they came with a little book. We have one. And it would, it would be we, have, we have William. But these are personalized engines that they used to get on the website. And you could put your name on them. And, like, all this... All this flashing on the side, you could pick the number. We got the little Sodor Steamworks on there. You could change the faces. I totally forget the name of these. We, we will give Josie a young version of Lady. Yes. Okay, let's keep building. I'm going to get back. I'm going to move Brenham Docks over. Anyways, our friends over at Show and Tell Toys, they have a really rare, it's like a very one-of-a-kind thing. Okay, I think maybe here's a good place for Brennan Docks. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of crushed this down. We haven't put this together in a long time. What are you going to be building on here with Tim and Sheds? Proteus. You know, Proteus is another... No we got a couple Proteuses. I'm going to show him Proteus. We have a couple Proteuses, which is great, because I don't think he has a single line. I don't think he said a single word. Six small wheels. He's got a beautiful design. Uh... We get him in these races and stuff. We put him in slime races and water races. I think we just had him in a, a water slide race that we did. I love that he has that little light on there. Yeah. But I don't think he had an entire speaking line in the entire series. And his back part is plastic because it has to hold the battery. Well, what are, you, what are you looking for? I'll help you, too. Um, remember that, um, little shed that Mark... Like, maybe I need, I think I need, like, four of those. Four of those? Yeah. I think I can give you, there's dust and shed. And that's that Snapford Blue Bridge, Bluebird Bridge. Um, the other ones, I think, are over here. Let's come over here and see if we can't find more sheds. Where's Snapford Bluebird Bridge? It's down, it's in that box. Oh, I, I have everything I need. Okay, here's Vickerstown. No, but you know what? We have that big brio, brio tunnel, that big thick. Ooh, that, that's way too big, and I need to move to look like this. Okay. Um, that big brio tunnel is like seriously one of the most underrated pieces of wooden railway magic that we've ever had. I love that piece. Oh, okay, we got these two right here. So we have Timmouth Worth and Crosby Cole. That was so Don't cool. drop the bridges. Sir Handel. Yeah, we actually have a Brio Sir Handel. We don't have them up here as well. Sir Handel is another underrated narrow gauge engine. We get a lot of requests for Sir Handel. We have a Brio one. I don't think we have any Tomy or Trackmaster Sir Handels, do we? Oh, we don't. I think we might have an old track. You know, even new fans of the series, they love Luke and the... You know, Blue Mountain Mystery, I think, was like the height of... I think it was the last great thing they did with the narrow gauge engines, to be honest with you. Because then they brought back the miniature gauge engines after that in... Uh, what was that? Legend of the Lost Treasure? Uh, yep. Yeah, they haven't really done anything with a lot of narrow gauges. And they should, in my opinion. I keep telling them that, actually. Oh, like, Yeah, I do. They're, they're like, do you have any feedback for us? I'm like, yeah, bring back Murdoch. Bring back Flying Scotsman, make it into a model, do narrow gauges, set fire to the wood. <laughs> no, set fire to Thomas Wood. Set fire to Thomas Wood. Yeah, I don't, uh, Thomas Wood is interesting. There are, they have some better pieces, I'll be honest. Harvey was a better piece, Ashima was a better piece in wood. Yeah, let's not set fire to those ones. You know, uh, we have like... NTN, we have Merlin, so all the new pieces. But they should do Flying Scotsman. They should do Shane as well. 
I mean, they have the prototype for, for uh, Sam. I don't know why they just don't turn that into a Shane and just release it. Like, they already have it for Wooden Railway. They already own everything about it. Okay, so here's Brenham Docks. Let's get back here and let's get onto some other things. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect in season 25, guys, to be quite honest with you. Um... I didn't even look at the trailer the entire way through. I was going to do a reaction to it, and then I decided not to. I decided that this is the way that uh, Mattel has decided to go with Thomas and Friends, and that if that's the way that they're going to go, that's the way they're going to go. When are you going to show me the trailer? What's that? Sorry? When are you, when are you going to show me the trailer? You know, they brought it up, and then something happened, and they took it down. And I, I kept, people kept like, here, here it is, here it is. And then I'd go to it, and like the second I got there, it was down. I don't know if Mattel was squashing it or what, or somebody was. I know the reason why somebody Okay. Are you, are you building? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I've got Brandon Docks. I'm going to build a little bit more. What else are you looking forward to? Another thing I wanted to talk about while I have everyone's comment section is Spin Master's Mighty Engines. Mighty Express. Mighty Express. That's what it is. It's Mighty Express. I'm not sure what was going on. You know, we tried to contact Spin Master a while ago about uh, Paw Patrol stuff. Yeah, uh, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol is for like Yeah, Paw Patrol. Yeah, it, Paw Patrol is kind of... It's still popular in a lot of places, and it's, it's still cool if you guys are into Paw Patrol. There's no doubt about that, but Paw Patrol, I think, uh, according to trending, is going down. And they've got this Mighty Express thing coming out. I, I don't know if you guys have seen Spin Master's Mighty Express. It's from the makers of Paw Patrol, and it really honestly looks like a cross between a Paw Patrol-type show and a Thomas and Friends-type show. Turning a red engine that believes he was really fast into a freight engine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Liam, who's your favorite Thomas Wood engine, honestly? Like, the, just the Thomas Wood. Is it Young Bao? Or um, Harvey? Harvey is, dude, like, I like, I like how they made Harvey into an actual functional, better engine. I don't care. Rosie. Let, let's, just, let's just sit first in the moment. No. Rosie, my Merlin. Favorite, my favorite is Rosie. Your favorite is Rosie? Yeah, my favorite is Rosie. Uh, Ashima. You know, guys, some people don't like Rebecca. I don't know why. I do like Rebecca. I think that she's great. Yeah, people don't like Rebecca, I think, because of Henry. But uh, you know what? I honestly, I like Rebecca. Ashima. I, li I like Henry's model. The Thomas Wood? Yep. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, Thomas Wooden Railway, Henry. Yeah, I know that she replaced Henry. That's really not her fault. Um, Ashima looks absolutely fantastic. They did great with the wheels. They got the wheels blue on this one. Ace, Ace the Racer. They could have made him faster. Young Bao and uh, NTN. NTN is actually, we raced this guy a few times on our Soder Superstation Speedway. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. NTN, um, the French engine, and he's actually legitimately fast. Nia, I'll be honest with you, Nia is one of our more popular engines. I mean, we put Nia in a thumbnail, and dude, like, people love Nia. And you know what? She's such a, she's a likable character. I actually want to go to Africa just to, just to see what, what it's like, to be honest with you. That's why you're so interested in Africa. That's why daddy's so interested in Africa. I wonder why you're so interested in your pockets. Look, have you built anything? Yeah. Okay, you keep building this. I'm going to be building back there. I don't know how much of a track build this is going to be. Our sort of construction crew wants to talk about engines. Nia, honestly, guys, I think that she's a really interesting character. I think she's a good character. Just from who she is. I actually do like her. I like her positivity. Rebecca is cool. I like Rebecca as well. I also like her positivity. 
they're very positive. I remember, you know, when you're talking about girl engines, remember, like, Emily honestly does seem a little bit bossy to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And Rosie, they could have done a lot more with Rosie. I'm glad that she kind of beat James in a race. Yeah. But... What happened? Where's all these non-wind railway pieces coming from? Did you bring out all like the the old non-wind railway? What? But Nia and Rebecca, I don't Nia and Rebecca are really—they're actually good characters. I know a lot of people don't like uh, Rebecca because of Henry, and then Edward and Toby got replaced as well. Oh, let's see if I can get back here. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, something happened there with the camera. We're trying to get this coming out this way, underneath the back of Brendan Docks. I think we've got that. Track Mr. Track Build Day. Yeah, it's not the day for Track, Mr. Tr track Master Track Build Day. The problem with building tracks with Thomas Track Master is with Wooden Railway, I know that the pieces are a set length and I can put them on and they will always come back and fit. And I don't always get that guarantee with Trackmaster. Sometimes I'm messing about. Oh, yeah. Toby. Toby is a really, he's another really well-liked engine. Um, he's a little bit pessimistic, though. He's a little bit upset. Yeah. I can understand why every character would have his own special quirk about him. Henry wants to go slow. Okay, I can relate to that. Henry, Henry's oh, afraid of... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I say... I, I said Henry. You're right. I meant Toby. Henry, they could have done so much more with. They really should have made him like the, like the very big, strong engine, not the one that's sick from... Needs special coal all the time. There's a lesson to be learned in there, though, some as well. Just because he uh, takes special coal, just because he takes a little, he's a little bit different than the other engines, doesn't make him any worse at all. And that is the truth. And to be quite honest, Henry's color is awesome. I love that green. Special coal. Do you want to know how you tell when an engine has special coal? How? When an engine has special coal, their, the steam coming out of their funnel is black. Well, that's fuel rich. That means that there's just too much fuel or it's a bad type of fuel. So that, what that basically means, black smoke, is that the fuel is not being, is not 100% um, being burnt. And that's why Henry goes slow. Is that why Henry goes slow? Mm -hmm. Then he, maybe he needs a hotter fire, to be honest with you, or less coal. Okay, so what's going on? What's your least favorite engine from Thomas and Friends? Guys, let's get in the comment section. Who's your least favorite engine of Thomas and Friends? Um, Who's yours? Is it the, the engine that has his hands in his pockets? <laughs> you gotta get building here, my friend, eh? Billy, Charlie, um, Samson, yeah, Samson. Uh, a lot of people don't dislike Samson. Yes. Samson. Uh, okay, so you you look for Samson, and I'm gonna look for Samson. We're gonna see who. Fo okay, I found him. He always hangs out in that area. Samson, the number fifteen engine is yeah. Samson, Basher, Dash. Uh, guys, I I've I've had thumbnails where I put Bash and Dash, and the videos don't do well. Like nobody likes them. The logging locals, but never Ryan. Ryan, that's his daddy's. That's just my own dislike for Ryan. I like people named Ryan. It's just I don't like what they did with Ryan. Samson is a very unpopular engine. I think. People don't like him because he comes across as not the smartest engine. Uh, I've never had a problem with Samson. I think we have a Trackmaster Samson, and he's one of, he really does well on World's Strongest Engine, to be honest. Yeah, so does Porter. Yeah, so does Porter. Samson is actually a very strong engine. People don't like Billy. Billy, I think, I think it's, yeah, I think Billy's hilarious, to be honest. Billy is quite funny because he is just hideously ugly. <laughs> I don't know why they would make such an ugly engine. Like, if you're created by someone, be better, be more handsome than that. Billy is ugly, that means he looks like you. Oh, thanks, pal. And the thing about Ryan, the thing I don't like about Ryan, to be quite honest, look, he's, he's just dusty. We got to organize this better. What 
don't you like Ryan? Because he's a remake of Thomas. He is literally, yeah. He, Ryan, the thing I don't like about Ryan is that he they literally just took Thomas. Well, he's half the... He's in, in between... He's the only tank engine in between Thomas and Arthur. He, no, he's... He, his, it's the exact same thing. He, it's the exact well, same model. It, in Thomas Wayne Railway. Well, yeah, like so. What they design when they design T Ryan. This is my problem with Ryan. People ask me like, what do you, what don't you like about Ryan? He's the exact same thing as Thomas. Like Ryan, Ryan has eight wheels and a shorter funnel. Why don't you keep building? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, do this a little bit. Is that what Mattel did? Is they took the exact same model and they changed the eyebrows. Yep. Like that's it. It's Thomas's face, but they just changed the eyebrows. Instead of triangles, they just made dashes. It's the exact same thing. And they painted it purple, and they made it a new character, and they sold it to kids. And to be quite honest, it's like, if, if you know, give me a sander and some paint, and I will turn this back to Thomas in less than a day. And it's just, if kids are going to spend their money on toys, and parents are going to invest in something, come up with something original. Like, please. Like, it's the exact same. Yeah, no, it is. It, like, look at them. Look at them side by side. The eyebrows. Like, that's it. That's the difference. And the, the domes are in the same place. The tenders are the same place. The wheels are the same place. The funnels are the same thing. Everything is exactly the same except for the paint job and the eyebrows. And that's what I don't like about Ryan. That's it. Is that they just took Thomas and they did something lazy. Like, if you look at Gordon and Henry... If you look at them, you say, oh, that, well, that's the same engine too. Well, no, like if, if you look at the back here, so yeah. Henry's, Henry's boiler goes into a box and then Gordon's boiler goes, it has this kind of roundish at the top mm -hmm. and it's a different slope and that's a different piece. They have different cabs as well. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the cabs are a bit different size. Like it's a different piece. They're they tenders. did it differently. Like Molly, like look at those giant wheels. Uh, you know, Scotsman, look at the giant wheels. Look at all these original characters. Vinny, I mean Vinny, he's got he's got the coolest tender ever. That Vanderbilt tender, that there it is right there. That Vanderbilt tender, they're awesome, but they're well, different. What's the difference between Paxton and Diesel and Sydney? Well, that's the other thing, right? It's like the diesels are the diesels. Okay, so well, I understand that Paxton, these are Paxton, Sydney, and Diesel. They're the free and diesel engines that were based off of the same electric shunter. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But I mean, like even Sydney. Sydney's an interesting character, right? We have three different Sydneys. Uh, Paxton, even though it's basically diesel, it yeah, we understand. I understand it's the same type of engine, but they're at least original characters. Ryan is what a really helpful tank engine. Oh, okay. Well, he's the only really helpful tank engine we have on Sodor. Well, no. Right, we have we have one that's a little bit more popular than you, Ryan. But you know, it's not a shot at kids named Ryan. I have no problem with kids named Ryan. I just I did not like that Mattel did that. To be honest, with a toy, I thought that was extremely, to be quite honest, lazy. Once we get admin status on CBR three, I'm going to set a book on Ryan. <laughs> How about you build a track? Let's worry about that. Let's not worry about Roblox right now. Let's worry about building a track for our friends and our community. I don't know, things like that. It's just, if you're going to introduce a new character and make him a, a, a main character and make him a big part of a franchise, put some thought into it. Put some love into it, you know? That's just my thought. Anyways, enough of the rant. Hugo is my least favorite character. Okay, yeah, Hugo, I like Hugo as well because Hugo is definitely original. But his Trackmaster toy was a little bit off as well. Mm -hmm. um, just because the fan on the Trackmaster toy, the fan itself... It just takes a lot of energy to turn it so he becomes a slower train. But this is like, Hugo is original. He's a kind engine. He knows that he's different than the rest of the engines, but he doesn't let it bother him. Like, guys, let me tell you something. It takes all sorts to make the world go around. And just because something's a little bit different doesn't make it better or doesn't make it worse. It just makes it different. That is the truth. And Hugo's a little bit different, but Hugo is like, he's streamlined and he's awesome and he's slick. And he's got a really cool accent. Don't be afraid of people with accents. That's my opinion. Yeah. Can we see Boko and Duck? Let's bring up Boko because you got Boko in action there, don't you? Okay. Liam, you literally put Boko down on the yeah, line. I know. I know. I'm gonna this used to be the most organized set because we used to do it by numbers. Oh, I didn't And know. I have kids. And they came along and they said, you know what? We'll put them wherever you want. Look over to the, you know what? You look over to the side. I'll look over here. 
Oh, oh yeah. I got him. Oh. Boko, or Duck, the number eight engine. So his name's Montague. They call him Duck because he waddles. Because he's, uh, he's got saddle tanks. His water's on the side, isn't it? Yep. So he kind of waddles. Duck is another one of these engines um, who's a great character, in my opinion. He is a little bit bossy. He's a bit of a perfectionist. He likes doing things his way. I always notice whenever we play Roblox, it doesn't matter what game we play, whether it's CBR3, whether it's Take on Soda, whether it's Wooden Railway Room, like somebody is always in Duck. Henry's rebuild is a different engine. Yeah, uh, there is two different Henrys. There are two different Henrys. They have the old style Henry. We have the new style Henry up here. We do have the older style Henry as well. We, here's 60, celebrating 60 years, Henry. So this guy, he has the, he started off blue. Henry started off blue. And he started off with a tender, a lot like Gordon's as well. We actually have that downstairs. We don't have that with us because we weren't planning on doing a live stream about our engines. But Henry, he started off very thin. He had a very thin boiler and he had a very small face. And uh, Henry, like, he was a good character. He what just, do you think, Daddy? Are you built? Look at this. Okay, you got this. This is from CBR3, isn't it? Yeah. We've just played CBR3, which is uh, Cool Beans Railway 3. It's a family-friendly Thomas and Friends game on Roblox. It's one of Liam's favorite games. Still, uh, we know that it's been upgraded and there's other games available. CBR3 but is an old game. It's old according to you, but I, I still love it. We just filmed it yesterday. The video will be released soon. But yeah, you've got that built. Okay, now I've got Brandom Dogs. We've got to get back to the build. I've got Brandom Dogs connected to the Great Bell. Are you going to get it to Tim Sheds? Maybe you can go through Echo Tunnel and put something in there from Echo Tunnel as well. I don't know how there's two buttons on it, Liam. Press one and find out, my friend, eh? Somebody asked to see Spencer, Fergus. You know, CBR3, one thing about that is Fergus, they put Fergus in there and he's super strong. Yeah. Fergus is another underused engine. He's, uh, he's got that traction. I don't know how this works. The buttons do nothing. Hold it down and say something. Hello? Okay, is there a, is there a power button on it? Um, Maybe the batteries are dead. It's been so long we've used it. Sorry, Fergus, guys, he has that flywheel on him, so he, he can see the bottom wheel turns when he turns it. Fergus is a very powerful engine. Put Cranky on the docks. Yeah, we will. Don't worry about that. Talk about Wilbert. We'll talk about Wilbert in a bit. Wilbert is another special engine. Do you know Shima was removed from Take on Sodor? No, I did not know that. Uh, I don't know why either. We haven't played Take on Sodor in a while. We have a private server on that game. These are great family-friendly Roblox games. Was Skiff deleted from CBR3? Yeah. We were just on there yesterday. He was, he was deleted? Yeah. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Spencer. Somebody asked about Spencer. Spencer is a great character because he's an actual bully. He thinks he's better than everyone else, and I love seeing... Maybe C they just turned him into a game pack. Maybe he, they did. And Spencer, you know, he's a great character. We have more than a few Spencers. This is one of the older style Spencers. They have more silver Spencers. I think we have those downstairs because we wanted to use this one. And where's our surprise Spencer? Keep building though, pal. And here's another, here's a rare Spencer as well. This is one we got from Totally Thomas Town. So this is surprise Spencer. And the, he came, um, where is that car? We have the Duke and Duchess's coach somewhere in here which is his private coach. That's his job. There it is. This apparently is a rare, very, very rare piece as well. Uh, Duke and Duchess's coach car. Apparently it's very rare. rare because it was super expensive. I forget what set this came from. Rare. But Spencer, yeah. Very, very sleek and strong. Based off um, the A4, the Mallard, which was the fastest steam train ever in production. Flying Scotsman was, but I think the A4 reached the absolute top speed. They had to do something special. I'm looking for Wilbert now. Somebody wanted to talk about Wilbert. Are you looking for Wilbert? Oh, Liam found him. Liam had to get up and find him for dad. Wilbert was after was actually named after the creator of Thomas and Friends. Um, 
the Reverend A. W. Audrey. And the W, the W, of course, is Wilbert. Yeah, Thomas was based on Silverlink and A4, yeah. I thought he was based on the Mallard, which was another A4. The Mallard was actually the, the engine that did it, which is kind of funny because I would have called that, I would have called him Duck because, you know, he's a Mallard. But they name trains, they name trains funny things. Toby, we have three Tobys up here, I believe. Keep building, okay, pal? We'll get back to the track build here in a second, guys. I'm just going to go to Toby. Now I have to find my Tobys. Oh, so we have Royal Crest Toby. I don't know where to go with this track. We have a Brio Toby downstairs as well. You don't know where to go with that track? Mm -hmm. You have this problem. Okay, so build up the farthest one. Build it out. Well, you have Vickerstown right here. Yeah. Go to Vickerstown. All tracks lead to Vickerstown. Okay. Royal Crest Toby. He is stationed, I believe, at Ulfstead Castle. And what other Tobys we have? We have two more Tobys here, I know for a fact. Oh my goodness, we have so many trains. We have so many trains. So many trains. Let's see what else. Oh, here's one. This is another rare one. I think this was a mail away as well that we can only get from the website. And this was happy birthday, to Toby. We actually do this in our cameos. So here's our birthday surprise, Toby. So he is a Toby. He has the streamers on the side. And he has this birthday present that looks alarmingly a lot like the flag of Sweden. We had a friend from Sweden here today. There you go. There's the flag of Sweden, basically, with the Scandinavian cross on it. And he, he has like this cargo car, which is the absolute coolest cargo car because it looks like actual real wood. It is actual real work. But it, yeah, but it looks like it looks like it came right from a tree. Yeah. And we use this a lot on our cameos uh, for our birthdays when we wish our friends birthdays and stuff like that. Not sure if you've heard of it. Yes, we are on cameo if anyone's interested, but we actually do use this guy for birthdays because that is the birthday surprise. And he came with a sign, a birthday surprise sign. And we have another Toby in there some way, somewhere. Big City Engine, yeah. You guys know how to get on my good side. I love Big City Engine. We have, we have a few Big City Engines. Who was a good model in CDR Free? Big City Engine is one of those books that, or one of those engines that was just talked about in the books. He has these big, unique wheels on him. Big City Engine, uh, he is a snob, What's which means he's not a very nice engine. The Adopt Me Gamer, hello. He is not a nice engine at all. He's actually cruel. He got into the books and he argued about which stations were at London because different railways had different stations. So he thought London was King's Cross. Very unique tender, BCE for Big City Engine. And, I, you know, a Dad, the reason I like him so much is because he has these big, strong wheels and the colors, the green and the red. I actually like Big City Engine. And to be honest, when you're doing these movies, you don't have to keep introducing new bad guys like... Diesel 10 and Vinny and Spencer. I mean, you already have good bad guys established like Big City Engine. Uh, fly, flying Scotsman. Are you still building, pal? Yep. I have a funny story about Flying Scotsman is we actually found a Flying Scotsman in box and Liam's favorite, one of Liam's favorite places that doesn't exist anymore, but there was a big place to the south of us that had a lot of trains. Yeah, had a lot of trains. Like and I, it, cried, I cried when it closed. Yeah, you were really young. It, it had to close down, but uh, they had a big wooden railway because they were actually a, a European couple that did a lot of model railways. And they had Flying Scots made in box, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy that. And then, then by the time I realized what it was, I came back and it was gone and we couldn't find it. But we now have three Flying Scotsmans. This is the one is in our best condition. Flying Scotsman, they have, he has that unique face where he's winking. This is Gordon's big brother, supposedly. Well, His, Gordon, Gordon, Gordon um, Rebecca actually declares Gordon the, Gordon's engine bigger than Flying Scotsman. Yeah, if you believe Rebecca. I need you to keep building on the track there, fella. We're going to get back to it right away. 
The thing about Flying Scotsman, he's the only engine with two tenders. He has a he has his wood tender, or sorry, his coal tender, and he has his water tender. And he is, of course, based on a real engine, the Flying Scotsman, which is, I believe it's being rebuilt, and they're going to put it in use again, just because it was a legendary train that went from London to Edinburgh in the United Kingdom, I believe. And the reason why it had those huge, both tenders, and it was such a huge, strong train, I think it only made one stop for coal from the, the um, ride, sorry, from London to Edinburgh. And somebody wanted to see Luke. Luke is popular, and I don't know why. Yeah. Liam likes Luke, too. I don't know why people like Luke. I he's a friendly little engine. I do not. I just like his model. Oh, you just like his model? Yeah. He's number 22 on his side plate. Number one in your hearts, folks. It is Luke. I don't really like his personality. He's sort of like a coward. Well, yeah, it's okay to be scared of things, especially when you're little, like Luke, and you, when, you're, when you're new to something, right? It's, it's okay to be afraid. But Luke, they kind of, they made an entire movie about him and then they kind of never did anything with him after that. And if you're going to introduce a character, if you, if you, if you have like 5,000 different trains in the franchise and you're going to introduce a new one, make it important in my opinion. And what was the other one we saw? I think I saw a Mighty Mac. Is Mighty Mac fan here? Mighty Mac fan is everywhere. There's always a Mighty Mac fan. Mighty Mac, Mighty, oh, there he is. Okay, Mighty Mac. Mighty Mac is based on, a, I think, a Mexican Fairly. I think that's what he's based on. Yeah, he is. So he can, these, this is actually an actual train. There's Mac and there's Mighty. Mighty has that tuft of hair above his face. And then Mac has, oh, Mac has the freckles. Yeah, I think. And on the back, it's, at the bottom, it tells you Mighty and Mac. I think it's Mac. I think Mac is younger. I think Mac is younger. This is actually one of the original trains we got when we started our collection. So this is one of the ones that we inherited from Liam's cousins. Um, and that's, he's kind of special to us. We get a lot of love for this guy. Mavis, yeah, we'll get to Mavis. We have a Mavis, but she has six wheels. So there's, an, uh, there's a Mavis out there, a diesel engine Mavis, that I keep all my diesels off in that corner. There's a diesel, there's a Mavis with four wheels that is considered extremely rare. There's only a handful of them made. And we have a Toby downstairs. Is it that we have a Toby with a Mavis face or a Mavis with a Toby face? Um, I think we have a Toby with a Mavis face. I think it's our Brio Toby. Oh, okay, there we go. We have, uh, we have a Toby. Brio actually made the Toby engine and it has Mavis's face on there. But Mavis is one of the friendliest diesels and she's a really great character, and they really kind of did nothing with her. The Farquhar Quarry Company. Toby, we've already done. Edward and Flora. Okay, so you've got this built up too. Are you going to put anything in there? <clears throat> Maybe the transfer yard or something? I don't know. I think it just looks cool. Okay, you just think it looks cool. Flora, we just raced Flora the other day. On all those water tracks and the slime tracks. We don't do slime much anymore. On all the... Yeah. On all the water tracks and the slime tracks that you guys see us race on, these are actually all of our doubles that we race on. So we already have our we have our, our best condition engines up here for filming stories and such. And uh, why don't you keep building, pal? Flora. I'm tired. Are you tired already? Yeah. Building is Flora Tramway. Yeah, Sordor Tramways. This is Flora. Flora was another engine that was only used in one story. She's not very fast when it comes to races. She comes with her own, I think this is actually called, yeah, Flora's Tram. Okay, so there it is. It's two floors with a whirling staircase. They actually, she actually has a good Trackmaster model as well, an old style Trackmaster. I'll be right back. Okay, you be right back. I need to go grab some water. Okay, pal, you grab some water. Building is thirsty work. I'm sure many parents know that. Edward. Yes, that is Edward. And Edward is our number two. Another rare Edward we have. We have a few Edwards. One of the rare ones we have is... Where is that Edward? I'm going to be looking for him for a while here. But we have... Oh, here he is. He's right on top of everything. 
This is good talking about my collection because I'm actually cleaning this table up and that table needs to be dusted. So here's all out of Puff Edward. This is the Edward that I think he was having trouble getting Gordon's coaches or he was behind Gordon pushing him up Gordon's Hill. Which our rarest piece, uh, we've already covered that earlier on, but I think it's, uh, I think one of our rarest pieces because we do have Brio engines. I don't have it up here, but I think we have our Annie and Clarabelle, which were prototypes. They have the staples in the bottom, no names. They look really old. Yeah, he's so tired. He got James' face. Yeah, so this is our all out of Puff Edward. We have an all out of Puff Edward, a surprised, oh, there he is, a surprised Spencer. All out of Puff Edward, and we have an all out of Puff Thomas and an all out of Puff Percy. Here's our all out of Puff Percy. Another really great face. I really like these faces on these guys, but they're only putting out to one face. Chuggington. We have a few Chuggington, but we've never used them really, to be honest with you. Uh, Chuggington, the series kind of went. I heard it, kind of, it came back. I don't know who's handling the toy line. Um... Yeah, there's a surprise Thomas. We've got so many Thomases. <clears throat> okay, Liam, are you going to get building again here? I think um, I want you to do Sam. Okay. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't even started building yet, I don't think. Sam. Sam is from Sam and the Great Bell. This was a really unique piece because he is literally the largest Thomas Wooden Railway engine that there is. The one thing about these Soder story times... <laughs> Sorry, guys. My youngest wants to come up and play. She just needs to uh, get ready first is the unique faces that Sam, Dustin, and Logan had. They put a lot of detail into the face, and this guy is absolutely huge. There's that big space that he has between them, the big Virginian. They could have done so much with this character, and they just, they, they kind of didn't. He was, only, he was only in one animated. Yeah, he was in one book, and then one quick animated, and they didn't even mention him. It was like uh, introducing the engines or something like that. And that, you can see how much larger Sam is than Big City Engine. Yep. Big City Engine looks small. Yes, he does. How about we get back to this track real quick? Let's get this. Let's connect this piece. I don't think we're going to be having built up a track. We're already 7, 70, we, are, we are already 77 minutes into this live stream. Wow. Yes. Okay, how about you, we take Vickerstown and let's build it into Napford Station. You can move Napford Station if you want. Build it back to Tidmouth. Can you do that? And you can even take this piece of Tidmouth right here and you can turn it into those bridges if you want. So okay. you can have it come across. Um, from... no, I just, I didn't, I had these, um, th th this is just the sheds and I ran and, and I couldn't find any buffers for these. You can't find buffers? I'll find buffers for those, but I need you to keep building, okay? Okay. Remember, two female. Two female buffers, yep. So I actually keep all my buffers and rare pieces in here as well. It's really great to get organized because getting organized and keeping things the way you want. There's a buffer. Oh, look at that. Oh, right there. I grabbed the wrong one. And there's a buffer. Put one there. And oh, let's put one right there. And it fits. I'll come around. Yeah, we'll use Hero. Guys, yeah, Hero is another great engine. You know, right? You have this beautiful character from Japan, and he is really stereotypical Japanese, meaning that he's super polite, very quiet, um, wants to be very helpful, be very useful, hardworking, all these great values to them. And it's like they sent him back to Japan. And they did the toy, the, the line. They brought him back, thankfully. But they, they did the, the line. This big, powerful master of the railway. He's very modest. But he's really quiet. And in my opinion, he was basically, what he was, is he was just a Japanese um, Murdoch, to be honest with you. 
is that he was this gentle giant who just wanted to be really useful and very helpful and wanted some peace and quiet. He talked more than Murdoch, though. Yeah, well, yeah, Murdoch was very quiet. But uh, they, they had these great engines, and he's based on a real engine, and Hero did really well. Oh, I didn't know he was based on a real engine. Oh, of course, yeah. The same as what? Young Bao? That's a really odd turn there. I think I'm going to have to go with a smaller one. Young Bao? No, Young Bao was Chinese, and he was based on a different engine. And then um, Hero was Japanese. Where are the Train Labs pieces? The Train Labs pieces are in there somewhere. If they're either in, no, nope, yeah, that one, or the one right next to it. I think they're actually in the one right next to it. Yeah, there they are right on top. So... They had this really awesome character, and they kind of they could have done so much with them, in my opinion. They just sent them back to Japan. Yeah, they sent them back to Japan, and there, there's like four different wooden railway. That's a really odd fit. I'm gonna have to do something there. I I have the same problem. Yeah, I know. This is the problem when we don't build on tables: is we we put things wherever we want, and then we have to build them together. Um. Yeah, but they have hero sticky spill patchwork hero lost and found hero. Doesn't that always seem to happen? Like, he was so polite, you know? Hey, I'm crashed in the middle of nowhere, but I'm going to make small talk with you before I ask for help. Great character. I really like Hero a lot. James and Oliver, yeah. Why was Hero even abandoned, man? You know, people forget things. Yeah, but how did he even get there? Oh, he probably just crashed. He broke down? Yeah. Yeah, and they, they had some spare parts, wasn't it? They were looking for spare parts, but nobody left. That's right. And I think the thing is, is that Victor had these spare parts kicking around that he didn't know what they were for. I think that's how the story went. Hero of the Rails is an underrated movie. Okay, we're going to have to figure out how to figure that out. Hmm, that's going to be confusing. Okay. Keep building, son. Uh, well, then that's why, that's another reason why Spencer was a bully, right? One of the things that we have to remember is that these engines aren't always, the engines are always trying to teach us a lesson, right? So what was the lesson about? The lesson was about just because something's old doesn't mean that it's useless. And the last thing I would call hero is useless. Because to be honest, Spencer pulls like, one car. You know, and no, Hero has no, helped he, so many. He pulls... He pulls, like, five cars, but only carries two people. Okay, yeah, so that's it. So he pulls one carriage, and then there's, like, a separate luggage, isn't there? No, pulls, that's kind of a tight fit, but we'll pulls, see if that works. He pulls five cars and carries two Because this is one of Spencer's as, as well, right? Property of the Duke and Duchess. Furniture car. Yeah, the furniture car. This is another really unique um, car. It's a one-off piece. Mm -hmm. But that's the furniture car. And that's the Duke and Duchess's... That looks like just a dining table under there. Well, you never know. I mean, if you're going to have a dining table, have more than one person at the table. But there you go. You have the, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford in their car. You have the furniture car. And you have Spencer. And he's shocked. And Ryan is trying to sabotage. Yeah, and Ryan's, Ryan's trying to get his eyebrows Ryan trimmed. Ryan does. Uh, I've had a few requests for Whiff, so I'm going to look at Whiff real quick. Yeah. Why don't you grab Cranky and throw him on Brendan Docks? Okay. And Dad's going to like look... baseball throw him? Yeah, throw him like a baseball, see what happens. We'll talk about Cranky. In fact, get the two Crankies out. Okay. Oh, here's Whiff. What am I doing? Okay. Whiff is another unique engine. You guys, he's got the flies all over him. If you look close, those little black things are flies because he's a garbage engine. Um, he's the first, or sorry, he was the second engine with glasses. Who was the first? Who do you think the first was? I don't know. You don't know who the first was? Yeah. Guess. Number 66. But he is a, he's the waste dump engine, we, along with Scruff. He has Scruff as an assistant. He's got those. The first engine that had glasses was, okay, let's try and get in there. Yeah, Sodor Railway Repair, who was sold that he doesn't even have his name on the bottom. I think he just has contact lenses. 
No, he's got those yellow glasses on there. Sodor Railway Repair, and he kind of, he comes with those pieces. Okay, uh, are you going to build out? We got a track piece over there. We ha might have to move it around at the end of Brenham Docks. And we had these pieces right here. Why don't we put Tidmouth Holt right in there somewhere? Get this piece and then bring it back to uh, Napper Station, please. Blue Ben, yeah. Blue Ben, here's another. Uh, oh. Did we ever see Blue Ben? Is he in the series? Yeah, Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill and Ben turned blue because of Connor. Was it Connor? Yeah. Okay. We got this guy. We were at, we were at another train special place. I think we were actually riding a big old train, and we got off. And this was one of the pieces that they had in the. They came. Did they come together? Did it come with Bill? Yeah, they came together. Yeah, you're right. I think they did come together. They always. I think originally the old Bill and Ben didn't, but there's Bill and Ben, the troublesome twins. You know, Sodor has a ton of twins. You guys, get in the comment section, what's your favorite set of twins? Is it Bill and Ben? Um, which other ones do we have? Bash and Dash. I know we already talked about the logging locos. There was a lot of talk about Donald logging locos. And Douglas, Donald, Donald, your favorite is Donald and Douglas? Mm -hmm. I gotta find Donald and Douglas now. Oh yeah, okay, Donald and Douglas. Oh. Let's go. There's Donald and Douglas, the Scottish twins. Do you like... What other twins do we have? Max and Monty. Oh, there's one of them. Max and Monty. There's, uh, there's Max right there. Max and Monty. Bill and Ben. Uh, Donald Douglas. What other twins do we have? Oh, Iron Airy, Iron Bert. There's like a large population of twins on the island of Sodor, if all things considered. What other twins do we have? I know that uh, Dennis, Dennis and Norman are actually twins. Oh, and there goes Norman down the hill. They're actually twins. They just don't, they're not identical twins. <clears throat> yeah, me and Dougie. <laughs> Donald the Scottish twin, yeah. Doge, <laughs> I actually I really like. We get we get a few requests from Scotland for our cameos to do private uh, birthday videos, and it's like do your worst Scottish accent because Scottish people, you know, they have a really good sense of humor, and I have the worst Scottish accent, but I always I always ham it up because God bless Scottish people. Um, I love their accents, but they are so hard to understand when they get talking when they get going. They are wonderful people, though, and we, we love our fans from all over the world. James, Donald, yeah, Donald and Douglas. Ugh. Another underused pair of engines that really could have done great things. There's Douglas, the number 10 engine, and Donald, the number 9 engine. I like Douglas more. You like Douglas more? To me, it doesn't matter. They're both great engines. They stick up for each other. They work with each other. And they were just in the series, like, what, two seasons ago? Everything okay? They were uh, just in... Um, they were together. And they were in... Uh, in an episode together where they had... They were back-to-back -back and they were trying to remove snow. They lost their tenders or something? Okay, yeah, one of the twins left the other one in the snowdrift. So they just had him in the series. Like, what a great time to reintroduce this toy that everybody always asks about. You know, one this great time, like, our friends over at Totally Thomas Town, I talked to the owner there, and I'm like, do you have any spare Donald and Douglas? And she's like, I have to, you know, I, I, if I get them, I, send the, I, I sell them as a pair because nobody wants one. Everybody wants both of them together. And they fly off the shelves like so fast because nobody can get Donald and Douglas. Uh, Neville, Neil. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of James and Oliver. We're going to do James and Oliver. I think that the, I think that the idea of the railroad tr railway track build is kind of kaput. Because you're just playing now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah, we've been on here for almost an hour and a half. We have Oliver, the number 11 engine. 
Sorry, my youngest is in the background there. She just needs to be included. They're watering plants. Oliver, the other Great Western Engine, number 11. He's got Great Western Engine. We have one downstairs where his eyes are just absolutely massive. It looks like he, somebody put coffee in his boiler. <laughs> Duncan. Hello, and, and, Mr. Wall. Yes. And, and then you said, and oh, 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 it looks like he had a lot of coffee. Yes, he had yeah, a lot he, of coffee. He, he looks like he. He looked like he woke up. He has no, his eyes are just saucepans. No, it looks like he um had a date with my with my mom. Yes. Uh, let's look at uh, let's look for Toad. And uh, oh, here he is. So the other great Western engine. Oh, here's Toad. There's Oliver and Toad, the Great Western Engine. Hello, Mr. Oliver. Uh, the one thing I love about Toad is he has brakes. Like, he actually has this brake piece, so his yeah, wheels won't turn. But the original one didn't. The original one didn't. We have an original one downstairs, but you throw those brakes on, and he, it's very hard to turn the wheels. It's not as easy as this. Toad is an actual good brake van. I believe in one of the games we play, I think it's CBR3, that they actually have... So yeah, you can actually use them as a brake van and throw the brakes on. Yeah, but in... Uh, but in Neville. Take on, in Take On Soda, you can actually drive Toad. Yes, that's true. And, and you can scream. Neville. I don't even know where Neville's from. Is he from the books? Uh, I've only seen... I'm going to have to blow some of the dust off I've this guy. It's been so long. One episode him. I've never seen this guy. Neville's tender. He's a big tender. I don't know if he was in an episode or if he was in the books. He was in an episode. I think he was in one episode. Like, it was like 3,000, no, 3 million, 3,010 years ago. That's 33,010. Neville was in a couple of episodes. Okay, so I guess he was in a couple of episodes. And we have James. Let's do James. Okay, let's come over here a bit. Okay, so I asked you to get cranky on top of random docks. Do you even remember me asking you these things? Let's get cranky out. And I know we get a lot of requests for James, guys. James, we have so many Jameses. We'll have to be more specific. We have so many Jameses. This is where we keep all our cranes in one place. Okay, so here's our... First cranky. We have a few crankies. Oh, you all right? We have a few crankies. This is our green cranky. We have like a darker gray cranky. We have like a bunch of them downstairs. Uh, some of them are actually attached to play tables because we have actual play tables that were used in toy shops and bookstores where they sold then Thomas the Tank Engine. How did we even get them from bookshops and toy stores? Well, they stopped using them. So, you know, what are you going to do with them? Well, you're going to sell them to guys like us who put them up on YouTube, right? But we have different pieces and stuff. And we have Deluxe Cranky. Deluxe Cranky was a lot harder to find. I think he was only available for two years. Sorry, I'm just going to grab all the cranes, guys. Hee-haw. Was that, was that the other one? You had Old Wheezy. And then Hee-haw was the other crane. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see if we can get in here. Oof. Okay, we keep this guy at the bottom because he's big. But this is the other Cranky. This is what they used to call Deluxe Cranky. And this is the one that we use more often because he's much bigger. So let's put them side by side. And you see the standard Cranky and you see Deluxe Cranky. And the thing about Deluxe Cranky, he is power switch on bottom. Turn him on. Oh, we'll unwind him. And we can have his crane go down. I think it goes right down to the track. Yeah, it goes right down to the track. And we can lift it up. And Liam's just attacking. First order of crankies here. But his eyes move as well. That's the other thing I kind of like about him. So when he's going down, his eyes go down. And when he goes up, his eyes go up. So it tells you which direction he's moving in. We're going to get off track. I think we've been live streaming for an hour and a half. I think we're kind of kind of give up on the track build, guys. We've got a lot of good pieces going on, but... I'm just listening to the comments and a lot of people want to talk about our engine collection. Okay, busy as a bee, James. Yeah, we have a ton of Jameses. James is another very popular character. Busy as a bee, James. I have him in my hand. I'm just looking for the tender at this point. 
Liam is back there playing with Cranky. Oh, uh, where's the B tender now? It would be right in front of my face. No, that's introducing James's tender. Yay! Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, you got him in the ocean? Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay, he's off in the ocean. Hi, Veronica. Thank you for joining us. Okay, busy as a bee, James. I absolutely love this guy. He has great paintwork. It's probably the best paintwork in the series. The one thing I that kind of gets me is, once again, Mattel. Like, this is a beautiful face. You could have put this on so many different Jameses. Like, this could have been the James face for every year because that's a typical James. He's just not in a good mood. And that's so, so James. Busy as a bee, James. It says so underneath. Beautiful James. We have a few of these guys. Um, beautiful colors. We actually got this guy used as well from a, a kid that was selling his entire collection. Neil. Neil is one of our smallest engines. We got this the same day as we got our very first flying Scotsman. Um, he, it looks like he's gotten attacked there a bit, but this is the best condition Neil that we have. So this guy did come from the books. It says Neil on the bottom. Uh, kind but ugly, I think, is how they described him in the books. That was an original original uh, book. Boko, why don't you pick up Boko for me, please? Okay. Neil is an arrow gauge? I've heard that, like, in different places, too. He's not. He's not, yeah. I've heard that. I've heard that Stepney is an arrow gauge. That was untrue. And here is Boko from British Railways. Boko is another extremely popular engine on Kids Toys Play. I, you know, we get a lot of these guys like, oh yeah, Boko, Boko. And then someone's always playing Boko whenever we see him in the, in the games as well. Yeah, watch this. Okay, hold on, wait. Ready? Ready, steady. Oh, she oh, goes no. right through Emily, that's, the number 12 engine. What was she pulling? Was she just pulling our, our old Kids Toys Play mm -hmm. tankers? That, that's not what I planned. Okay. Okay, you set it up better. You let me know when we're ready to go. Stepney. Oh, one of the most beautiful things about having a huge collection is that when you guys want to see something, you just have to ask. Stepney, number 55. He is one of the older Stepneys. He doesn't have his name on the, bo on the bottom. Second learning curve area. Yeah, because he has an original face. Yeah, you think that about the Toad as well. Stepney, he has a little bit of a smaller face. Like, his face is the same size as Scotsman's. But if you put him up against the other, the newer engines, his face is a little bit smaller. Stepney, is, he's another one of those engines that everybody loves. And I, I don't know what the appeal was, to be quite honest, because um, I never really got into Stepney. And he was barely used, but he is one of the older engines. And I think it was Cool Beans Railway 3, that video game, where he was actually the only game pass, wasn't he? Yeah, and the breakdown train, that's right. But he was one of the, like, he was the only train that you had needed to game pass because he's so popular. And what I really like is that when you look at his name on the side, it actually looks handwritten. Like somebody actually took the time. Okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap this up. <clears throat> Watch poor Emily. She didn't notice that the turntable was broken. And then Hold she on. Went... There we go. Sorry, this is a new gimbal. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Emily didn't notice that the turntable was broken. And oh, it is broken. Went... Look at that. Oh, Emily. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Well, we started with a track build. We thought we were going to track build. The poor Cranky. And do that. I don't think Liam was really big into building. He wanted to just simulate and build things already. And everybody in the comment section wanted to talk about our trains. We do have a lot of picking up to do. Uh, yeah, I know guys, there was a lot of, there was a lot of talk, but people wanted to see trains and this usually what happens when we end up live streaming is that everybody wants to talk about the trains that we have because we do have one of the largest collections and we are so proud of our collection, but we love showing you guys the collection that we have. Nia, absolutely. You know, Nia is so underrated. She is one of the best engines i think she's a great new character i think that she is completely underrated and i'll be quite honest guys when we throw nia in our thumbnails we get a lot of clicks on those videos 
because kids really love Nia. And well, they should. She's a great character. She is very kind. All right, here comes Emily. Here comes okay, are you having Emily coming up? Liam likes Emily because she just got that number 12. Mm -hmm. We should actually maybe see if the new toys have the number 12 painted on the tender. There's a crash. Typical kids' toys play. Or whether or not we should paint it ourselves. Guys, I think we're going to wrap up. We've been live streaming for over an hour and a half. I think, I think we should just ask Mom to print a sticker. Oh, yeah. Maybe just put a sticker on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Kids' Toys Play live stream. Uh, hopefully the next time we live stream, we can actually do a track build as opposed to getting distracted. Can we see Stanley, please? We'll have a Stanley. What, you know what, Stanley? I actually want to, you know, you want to see this Stanley. They made Stanley into one of those early engineers engines too. Those early engineers, they were underrated as well, guys. I really like these things. They're extremely fast. So there's a typical Stanley right there. One of the only white engines we have. And then here is early engineer Stanley as well. So this was geared towards smaller kids, like two-year-olds or whatever, who were playing really rough and who couldn't really grasp these other trains. But, like, these guys were great racers. Like, they go downhill so fast. You have no idea. When we had our early engineers and we'd compete them against any of our other trains, it was the early engineers all the time that were winning. But I think that's going to do it for us, guys. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here on Kids Toys Play. Uh, hopefully next time we live stream, we can actually maybe build a track. Maybe Liam will be in a, a track building mood. What do you think, pal? Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. All right. All right. Emily's last crash. Okay. Emily's last crash. One more crash for Emily. And that's the last ride to Tidmouth. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. Oh, I got to figure out how to end this now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, I don't know how we turn the live stream off. Maybe we should ask our friends how to turn the live stream off. Yeah. And bye.